What happens when you bring a wheelbarrow full of greens to some always hungry ostriches? Hold it out to the ostrich. Okay. Like that. Whoa. And now snap it from you. Come closer to the fence. Come closer to the fence, otherwise. Uh, closer to the fence? Yes, otherwise. I this is a good distance. I'm unfamiliar with the ostrich. Uh, otherwise, post. she's going to hurt her neck on the fence. This is Sam Barnard. She and her husband live near Portland and raise ostriches. <laughs> Sam is from South Africa and has years of experience dealing with these unusual birds. It is not a good, rich, quick thing that will happen overnight. That's where a lot of people do get discouraged. These birds weigh in at some 300 pounds and can use their feet to actually kill a man or even a lion. Their feathers were used by the ancient Egyptians, while the Romans had them pulling chariots and fighting off gladiators. Now that we've been around the ostriches for about 30 minutes, I think we're a little bit more comfortable feeding them. We'll see if, if that's true. Yes, very much more comfortable. When I first came up with the ostriches, they're very, very strong and very powerful. You can tell when they take something from you that they're grabbing it. Chicken, 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 chicken. Sam suggested we go inside the pen and get a bit closer. We agreed, but I didn't want to end up like a Roman gladiator. Remember, their kick is about twice as hard as a professional boxer punches. This is a egg waiting to be hatched. That's about the equivalent of a dozen chicken eggs. And you see these bumps here, these are pores. This is how the egg breathes. All eggs have pores. This egg, along with several others, will hatch over the coming weeks. We promise to come back for that special moment as this couple looks to expand their ostrich farm operations. Jurassic Park! From Portland, Michael Gibson, 3 News. Now they're going to stalk at each other. Now it's fun. <laughs>